Howdy YouTube. <coughs> Squidfish right here. I'm gonna do a follow-up video I think on the tobacco video I just did. Uh, I got my bulk tobacco to show. And a little something for magician piper. I just got done smoking a bowl of fire dance flake. And you're right, this stuff does fucking suck. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get that smell out of the truck. Ah, oh, yuck. That was awful. Okay, I agree. That was terrible. Just get rid of it. But, um, might as well get to it. I'll show you guys what I've got in my bulk stuff. This is a bag of stuff I got from Danny Shore. I got a lot of stuff through all three here that I got from him. Um, I'm going to show that first. I smoked a little bit of it. I haven't smoked all of it yet. I tried all of it yet. But, but I smoked some pretty good. So I'll start with this one. Moe's Confetti. So i get to this as quickly as I can so I don't bore you to death. This is a mix he made. It looks like Yuletide, the yarn, mild one, and a pinch of Cher McBaron's Cherry. I think I tried that and it was alright. Unmarked. There's <laughs> a few of these in here. I'll find out what those ones are. Half original cherry Milton. Original sugar barrel and a pinch of China Black. Here's a little sample of Sutliff's Baker's Delight. Brady's blend. I'm not sure what that's from, but I'll try it. The old Briar Patch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know on that one. Now here's one I like. 2015 Christmas blend. From 2011, but it's Yuli's blend from Yuli's Tobacco and uh, on the East Coast. TK6 was three ounces of this. I'll catch black gold. It's got some notes on it, but I can't really read it. Hmm, can't tell what that says. I know I don't care for catching black gold myself. Amphora. Not bad. Pinch of Virginia Flake and McClellan's 2040 TK6. Three, 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 chocolate and capital blue, I guess. Capital blue and three, 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 chocolate. I haven't tried that one. This is Match Country Doctor from uh, Pipes and Cigars. I recognize their labels. Glory Bowl. I don't know. But we'll find out. McClellan Cyprian mixture. Oh, if, yeah, I should try this one. This one's good. Balkan Flake and Daughters and Ryan Silver. That one's not bad either. California wine mix. Oaken? Hmm. <laughs> Where did you put that one I gave him? One of these ones that was talked up. It was, uh, uh, it was a blend I gave him. And I ordered it. It was a wine base. And it was like a, a top of wine. It was, I didn't like it. Uh, chestnut clone. And 5100 Dark English. And that's those ones. Esoterica Woodbridge. Sampling of that. 
Black Magic Woman. Black Magic. I should send some of this to you, uh, Jack. Magician Piper. Mike Baron Symphony. These are mostly just now we're getting the stuff that I've ordered. This is what I got from Danny. Unknown. <laughs> no label. We'll try that one out. Sherlock Holmes Pipe Club Blend. I think I tried this. It's pretty damn good, actually. Telford's Pipe Shop, Belden. I want to see if I can get more of this. This stuff was good. McCullen Avenue Blend, Nutty Hazel. Got a pretty good size sample of that. Cat and Black Dart. And they mean dark. <laughs> Pure black. McClellan 605 Pastry. Oh, this stuff smells incredible. People always comment how good that smells. I'll get some more of that for sure. I like the way it tastes too. Scotty's Butternut Burley. I got more. I got more of this um, in here. It's one of my go-tos. I like it a lot. Oh, here's some Northwoods. I got more, I think, in here. I poured a whole bunch of this. I saw some of the jarred tobacco. Captain Black Royal. Which, of course, is a go-to when I'm out fishing. Full Virginia Flake. A few flakes of. Cornell and Deal. Muddy Irishman. Good stuff. Sugar barrel. Oh, I got this not too long ago from Danny. I like sugar barrel, it's not bad. LJ Pretty Blend 3. Fourth generation 1855. This is monthly blend, not cluster. <laughs> wow, this guy just parked behind me. There's no parking behind me. That's funny. Jawith and Hogarth, Kendall Flick. I like this. There we go. This guy's burning up early. Five ounces. Just make a bag of that. LJ Perez Cuban mixture. We got more of this around. This stuff's good. CAO Cherry Bomb. That's from Danny. Captain Black Grape. I like this stuff. It's actually pretty good. Condor. This is uh, Flake Tobacco from England. I really like this one, so i got to get some more. Talk to my buddy overseas and get some more. McClellan number 705. Walnut Liqueur. I don't remember on this one. Here's some amphora. This is an old pouch. Dewey Egbert's amphora, excuse me. Rich aromatic. Extra mild Cavendish. A gentle smoke. From Utrecht, Holland. Dewey Egbert's Rail Factory is in Holland. It's a block bag. <laughs> Molto dolce. Small sample of that. I got more, as you saw. I got more, a lot more of this. Just 
This is the last of this little bag of hobbits. We go and add that into something later. Cornell and Deal Plantation Evening. Strauss tobacco in a sleepy hollow. <laughs> that bag was packed full. I put most of it in jars. Lane one Q. Dunhill early warning pipe. Shortcut to mushrooms. This is like the first bag baggie any ever sent me. Scotty Stonewall. Russ's monthly blend. Thumbprint cookie. Alright. Doesn't have much flavor it's supposed to. Milan tobacconist. Jefferson Street. Yeah, with Hogarth, Black Irish X. This is that uh, rope tobacco that I got. It's pretty good. Some sale. It's not bad. It's uh, Cavendish, that's the aromatic. Hmm, a couple of tins that are stuck in here. Surprise about. Presbyterian mixture. And Dunhill Elizabethan mixture. Our sugar barrel. This is Milan Tobacconist version of sugar barrel. It's empty. L.J. Peretti's Midnight. It's as black as midnight. McClellan 402 Chocolate Dream. Another pouch. St. Bruno Ready Rub. This stuff's good too. <laughs> My friends like this. The uh, these blends they weren't available here in English. They weren't available here in America. I love them, but my friends tried them and they said, "Oh man, those are great." So it's a good thing. Pipes and cigars contact center blend. This stuff's really good. Here's a pipes and cigars match. Carter Hall. Get a bit dry off the that. Here's Sam Gowith, round number four, Kindle Twist, and the rope tobacco. Cornell and Deal, Green River Vanilla. Gowith and Hogarth, Bob's Chocolate Flake. Everybody knows Bob's Chocolate Flake. Three ounces of McBaron's Seven Seas Royal, one of my go-tos. I like that. Darwith and Hogarth, Kendall, Kentucky. It's a shag cut tobacco. Kamoy's Cast Seven. This is, uh, what do you call those little rings? They're rounds. It's a bunch of small rounds. Baron Symphony, everybody knows this one. It's pretty good. Not bad. New Minister 81, Denmark. Milan Tobacconist, Doctor's Orders. Match Sugar Barrel. Another one. This is the Pipes and Cigars version. Cube cut. Early. Milan Tobacconist Black Forest. McClellan, number 700 Bucklava.
Phil has been truffled. McBaron HH Old Dark Fired Ready Road. That's the rubbed out version of the set of that big ass jar of Kamoy's Cast 7 Pipe Tobacco. More of these little rounds. Bjorn, Virginia Latakia Cavendish. This is one from Danny. A little small sample bag. On the bottom, <laughs> ten of fourth generation, 1982. So ten year old one. Excuse the rocking around. Um, very windy today. Call us away. Having some Arizona iced tea. <laughs> nice day today too. Well, I guess that's it. That's all my tobacco. Um, I can show my pipes one of these days. I got a few in here. I'll show those, but there's just all kinds of things all dirty. It sits in here all day long, all the time. I just got a few of my, t my pipes. A big Peterson bent. It's a system pipe. The pipe. Green. Some of you guys will know that one. This one was an Italian made, kind of a squashed, whatever you call it. I think I call that more of a mushroom. Lord Jeff. <laughs> Edward's executive. Prince of Wales. Can't get any really good sunlight on that. These smoke surprisingly well for what they are. Yellow Bowl Checker pipes. These are actually really good pipes. Oh, My father's handmade pipe, one of his handmade pipes. Meersham pipe. My dad was trying to carve that. A Dutch pipe just says Holland on it. It has a bunch of million and a half fills. But it smokes incredibly well. This is Stanwell. Good for sampling tobaccos. There's actually four. This was a no name. Um, Meersham lined. Nice little pipe. A tamper from Danny Shore. <laughs> See, Danny, I do use those tampers. This, I call this the uh, mushroom pipe. This is a um, Stanwell. This was one of my dad's pipes way back. He had this in the 60s. I wouldn't offer a lot of money for that pipe. This it was my dad's, I will not sell it. I did find another one not too long ago. It's exactly the same thing, so I'll clean that one up and sell it. If somebody ever offers again. 7 L Linea 76. Stem needs to be. Polished again. Well, this is the uh, Lorenzo Artemis. Double bore. And there's a couple of in here. 
This is a Missouri Mersham unfinished. Smokes really nice though. And this one is a Missouri Mersham. I'm not sure which one this one is exactly. I don't know my shapes. And that's it for the pipes that are in here. I got more in another bag somewhere. And I got, of course, at home I've got a thousand. Of them. But that's for now. That's about all I got. Over ten, <laughs> trying to chop up my flakes and such on. All right, I guess with that, uh, hope you're all doing good. Take it easy. Bye for now.